I'm going to sign into my Zoom account and I'm signed in with a typical AIS users account. I'll schedule a meeting I've named the meeting and I don't need to worry about any of these other settings. Users don't need to be registered. The waiting room is out of fault here. And I'll save this. In the next screen, down the bottom, it tells me that I don't have any polls yet. So I'll add a poll and I'll ask a couple of questions about flight. So I've entered one question and I'll add a question. Just a word about multiple choice. It's not really multiple choice or single choice. It's more, do you want me to be able to answer one only? or more than one. So it's really radio button or checkbox. And I'll save my quiz. So now I'll start the meeting. I can start the meeting here in this window or if I go back to my meetings you can see here there's that polling example and I can start it here. I'll open my Zoom meetings or this is as per usual and I'll connect with audio. Instead of inviting a participant via email, up here under this green tick is the information about the Zoom meeting. It's where the number is. So on my phone, I'm just going to join a meeting and join with that meeting number. And there he is waiting there. Let's admit him into the meeting. And now let's go down to my poll. I'll launch the poll. And because that participant's in the meeting, the poll has come up on the phone. Does an emu fly? I'll say no. Does a sugar glider fly? I'll say no. And I'll submit those answers. I can see how many people have voted here. When I see that everyone's voted or I've waited enough time, I can end the polling. And now I can share the results. And anyone in the meeting on their phone or computer is able to see all of the results. I'll stop sharing those results and I'll end the meeting for everybody. Now back here in Zoom, in my meetings area, I have reports. I would like to get not only the results of the poll live, but I want to be able to interrogate those results later. So, in my meeting tab, you can see I have registrations and polling reports. I don't want a registration report. I don't want a report of who was in the meeting, but that's where I would go to get it. I want to get a polling report. Now, I know it was called polling example. Here it is right here. Check the box and generate the report, or I can click generate here. I'm going to get a report of, I'm trying to get a report of all of the people in this polling example poll. I'll download that report. But now when I open it, you can see I have a blank report. I don't have any information here at all. That's 
because I didn't do two key things that you need to know that are not intuitive. The first one is that I need to wait. You need to wait about 10 minutes, at least five minutes. The report for the poll won't be generated for at least five minutes after the end of the meeting. Okay, so it's been a little while now. So I need to wait at least five minutes. But the other thing I need to do, even though I can see my polling example, is I must hit search. Hitting search forces Zoom to run through the process of creating that report. Here's the polling example. And now this time, when I generate that report, either here or here, I download the report this time. There's the, the report, it's an Excel spreadsheet. And when I open it, there's the user. If I had registration, the email would sit there. That's when it was submitted. There's the question, there's the answer, there's the question, there's the answer. So two key pieces of information. One, you must wait five, ten minutes only. And two, you must hit search, even if you can see the report.